Hey guys and welcome back. Well, it's time for a Substance Painter tutorial and today we're going to do a special request video where I'm going to show you guys how you can get uh, materials and smart materials off of the Substance Painter website or off the community website, how to bring them into Substance Painter so you can use them. Okay, here we go. Alright guys, well we're in Substance Painter 2.62 to be exact and uh, like I mentioned we're going to talk about how to bring in external uh, materials and smart materials and so forth, right? Now if you go up to the top left corner here you have these two symbols S and another one S and if you click on the first one and we go into that website you see that this is a Substance uh, Share website. It's kind of a, um, a platform for uh, people, uh, you know, users to share their textures and you can download them and use them and so forth, pretty cool. And then uh, the other one is, uh, and we'll just go back in, is this one. And this is the, uh, the website by Algorithmic themselves. And here you find the materials as well. And as you can see, some of them are free, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in one of those materials and I'm going to show you how you can uh, bring that in and use it in Substance Painter, okay? So let's see what we got. Um, let's do something metal and uh, let's see, we will use simple diamond. We'll use that, okay? We'll click on it and here you can see that this is a zip file. We're going to click on download. And while that's running, we'll go to the download folder. Okay, so we're in a download folder, as you can see, and this is my archive. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna right click, go to seven zip and uh, unpack it right here, which will give me this uh, file, okay? Now, this is a, a material, not a smart material. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import that. We're gonna go into, uh, actually what we can do is we're gonna copy it into the direct folder, uh, just straight off, okay? So I'm gonna select this guy, I'm gonna right click, go to, um, we'll do copy, that's fine. And then I'm gonna to go to documents and I'm gonna go and find the folder for Substance Painter. I'm gonna to go to the shelf. I'm gonna find the area where uh, materials are located right here. And I'm gonna right click and go to paste, okay? So that's that simple diamond pattern that has been added. And uh, now let's see if that will show up in our materials list. We're just gonna go in. And we're gonna type that in. Simple, there you go. That's our simple diamond, okay? So we're gonna drag that up and drop that on uh, our main body right here. And there you have it, okay? So that's all there's to it. Now, like I said, keep in mind, you need to make a distinction between uh, materials and smart materials. If you look at your uh, directory, so you go to your PC, whatever the name of your PC is, then you go to documents, you go to Substance Painter 2, and you go into shelf, okay? And right there, you have a folder for textures, you got one for materials, you got one for smart materials, and so forth. So make sure you copy them uh, directly into the correct folder and you're ready to go, okay? So that's all there's to it, guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little tutorial. If you did, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on future videos, okay? See you guys next time, bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.